Right, so climatic impact of three scenarios, regional conflict, India versus, versus Pakistan, about 100 Hiroshima sized weapons, high alert weapons, or what they, it's very, they're very polite, nuclear planners, a strategic exchange. <laughs> It's a bit like a sort of dinner party, a strategic exchange. And this graph shows the levels of cooling from the regional conflict, launch on warning conflict, major nuclear conflict. And the key thing is the cooling, <coughs> which originally back in the 80s, thought well, no, it might last three years, it would last 10 years. That's one thing. And that's a, this is severe if you're talking launch or warning or major nuclear conflict. And try, the impact of Trident, which is um, nuclear weapons are designed to hurt people. Let's be clear about this. When they talk about counter value, what they mean is firing a nuclear weapon so it kills as many people as possible in somebody else's city. And nuclear weapons are dropped either in the ground to hit the ground or in lay down mode, which also sounds very polite. So it lays on the ground and then it goes back, um, or they have an airburst. And those those deployment modes are chosen to create the most damage, right? So they're designed to hurt. People. Let's be clear about this. It's not a byproduct. Weapons are designed to kill people and counter value means threatening so many of your opponents with death that they won't attack you. So the, there's a very serious climatic impact caused by even one Trident missile submarine. Should it use its nuclear weaponry against cities, which is what it almost certainly is targeted against, although we're told, well, I'll just, that's the smoke cloud from the regional conflict which spreads, um, and that's from the, it, it spreads more gradually, and that's why you get redu reduced uh, growing seasons, uh, uh, more frosts, uh, sort of generally mm -hmm. grey conditions, not necessarily darkness at the moment. So, just quickly on Trident, um, up to eight missiles submarine, 40 warheads, that's 40 100 kiloton warheads. Firepower in one submarine is greater than all of the weapons used in World War II, including the two nuclear weapons. Because all the weapons in nuclear, uh, World War II is about three, three megatons or so. There's quite a few nuclear weapons that have more firepower than all the weaponry used in all the years of World War II, and including the two nuclear weapons, which is quite astonishing. And people don't talk about this. I think we ought to say more about this, frankly. Um, so that's what Trident is. It's a very big submarine. That's a Boeing 747. That's the... And that, so Trident's about 2% of the US or Russian weapons. And the sorts of casualties that you can cause, and the original targeting against Russian cities, 10 million. So you think, well, what else could you aim it at? Well, if you aimed it at major <coughs> cities, uh, let's say you're going to aim one at Mumbai. I don't know why you do that, but anyway, let's suppose you were. If you start aiming it at people in those sorts of cities, you could easily kill 20 million people. Uh, you can create a global famine. You can put 1 billion people at risk. Uh, you can destabilize the world climate. And what I've said is, that doesn't sound like a very sensible weapon system. Is it? Because basically, somebody, you, you're worried about being attacked, so you basically threaten to destroy the world's climate system. Um, and so what's that going to do to the UK? And I think it's a very important point. I don't actually think, even if you are Dr. Strangelove sitting in Russia or the NATO command headquarters, that it makes sense to think of using these weapons because the, the impact is so catastrophic of more than a few dozen of these things 
that it's just almost as bad in the long term for the person who files it as the one who doesn't. <coughs> so, and the other <coughs> point is these weapons do not address real security issues such as reliable energy, food supplies, terrorism. If anything, they're making it worse because they're deflecting spending on these issues. Uh, and they're encouraging this sort of whole ideology of militarism. I think that does undermine deterrence. Whether or not you believe in mutually assured destruction, I think from a very pragmatic, if, if I was just totally amoral, I don't think it makes sense to have more than a few dozen nuclear weapons. So on that basis, North Korea's got it right. <laughs> <laughs> Joke number six. So there we go. That's joke number six. Yeah. Can I tweet that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> out, not out of context. <laughs> so there's the references. And I'd like to acknowledge um, Article 36, uh, who basically published the document uh, setting out the casualties for Manchester. SGR published the document about the impacts of Trident. Uh, there was another document uh, which was originally called Flattening Moscow, which was actually a very clear title, um, which was about uh, the impacts of nuclear weapons on, funnily enough, Moscow. Thank you for listening.